Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. So today's Tuesday, and I owe you guys a weight loss update. And since my last whole 30, which I completed on 30 June, I have pretty much been in between 180 and 185. So we all know the hardest part of losing weight is maintaining it, and I've been fluctuating. Um, and I won't lie to you guys, it's definitely been because of my eating habits and exercising. So we still, or I, but we still have to learn to condition our brains to resist the urge to eat the foods that don't benefit us. But it's a learning process, you know, things don't happen overnight. However, um, Anthony is getting ready to complete his first Whole30, which I'm so proud of him because he has been quitting. <laughs> Every time we try to start, he does not make it past a week or two. Um, and maybe sometimes not even after the fifth day. So I'm really proud of him. He has lost 15 pounds. I think he said 20, to be honest with you. 20 pounds at this point. And, um, and that's a good thing. I, I'll say this though. The scale really doesn't matter as far as weight is concerned. Because you will notice how much your body has changed physically and oh my gosh guys when i thought i would never lose my back fat i'm gonna put a picture up here so you guys can see the before and afters but i stopped taking pictures of my back because i just never thought it would go away anytime soon until last week i said you know what let me just take another picture and see where i am and i was completely shocked guys so it can be done and um i'm so pleased so i'm gonna take a step back really quick so you can kind of see my shape my figure because I'll put a before picture of what it, what I looked like when I was 208 pounds and what I look like now at 5'4 in height and 185 pounds today. All right, so we're gonna do this right. I have my tape measure today because the last time I ended my video, I didn't really give any stats about my current position right now. So here I have it. And this is what I look like right now, guys. So um, I'm looking really slender in this area. Whew. Ooh, we came a long way guys, 30 pounds and counting. But anyway, um, one thing that I've really noticed about myself is how flat my belly region has become. I still have a lot of more, you know, I have a lot of work to do in this area. However, this is a big drastic change from my before pictures. And mind you guys, I was 208 pounds and I, whew, that's the largest that I've ever been, okay? So just to see this change is really, really, exciting um i still have my muffin top here which you know is, that takes some time to work out but overall i am very pleased with my shape and figure i noticed i noticed that my waistline is getting back to uh the way it used to be so let's go ahead let's, let me take my measurements and see where i am i don't remember what they were when i first started but i'll put them in you know on the screen somewhere so you guys can see if there has been any change so right now my waist is at 33 i don't remember where i was before the year i have maybe it wasn't 35 or 36 i don't know i'm not gonna tell any stories so we have the waist at 33 and let me get my bust <clears throat> Okay, so my bust is coming in at 39. So I've been pretty much the same in that area, to be honest, about 38.75. And then my hips are usually my main concern because we are a lot larger in that area. So let me, let me get, oh wow, okay. Well, nothing much has changed, 44. <laughs> so yeah, there we have it, 33. 38.75 might as well round up 39 and then 44 in the waist but again <clears throat> if you're exercising and working out and things of that nature you will build muscle so it's a whole about a up and down situation but i'm very pleased guys i'm getting ready to work out however it won't be outside it's getting ready to rain i'm going to take it in the house and then get my workout uh session inside and i'm going to show you guys what my workout regimen will look like for today this is my circuit training i do three to four exercises per circuit four times each four times each <laughs> so 10 um jpcs um jack push-up and a uh what is a JPC? Hold on. 
I was on the right track. I knew what I was talking about. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. I just can't remember what the acronym stands for. However, JPC, one jumping jack, one push up, and one mountain climber, 10 times each, four times per set. And then I have 20 plank jacks, 40 mountain climbers. Then my next circuit, is, this involves dumbbells. So I have 12 honor presses here, bent over, uh, dumbbells with tri extensions ground push-ups and resistant bands i don't have them so i'm going to use my dumbbell but for the curls and then the next circuit is going to be side to front front to side raises as well as seated lat pulls renegade rolls and so forth so on and then last but not least i have one core exercise but it's 30 seconds this is kind of my cool down period so i have nothing but planks here and i do it two times each so this entire workout would literally take me an hour to complete however it has been a while so i'm going to take my time today but let's just go ahead and get right into it workout um, <laughs> I put too much on my plate today so I cut the exercises in half instead of doing four repetitions I just did two uh, but I will say this it feels good to get back into it but I am beat so whew, I think it's time for me to sit down and finish watching um, what is it called Queen of the South guys I haven't been I'm behind I've never heard of this show someone recommended that show to me and i've been hooked ever since i'm on season two now um and it's good it's getting good but i wish snowfall comes back so i'm waiting for that but anyway let me get fresh and let me get cleaned up and i'll be back and i guess i'll prep my lunch for today and my dinner all right so i just finished making dinner for the family but tonight i'm having something very simple uh that i've been eating for a while now but Anthony has been experimenting with steaks and I just picked up a habit. If you cook your steak at 275 degrees, I promise you will be the best piece of meat you will ever have. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, I'm just having um, top blade steak, brown rice, and broccoli with some mixed vegetables. And that's really it. Um, and then I'm going to use my Primal Kitchen steak sauce. And yeah. Good to go. I forgot to close the vlog out last night. However, I am on the last stretch to reaching my desired goal weight, which is 160. I have 20 pounds to lose. And with that being said, I'm going to start my last round of Whole30 this Sunday, August 22nd and 23rd. Whatever day that is this week, that is when I am starting. So if you're here because you found me uh, do the Whole30 or you have intentions on trying out the program, 
or you're just curious, join in because I'm going to vlog it differently. I'm going to start with day one all the way up until day 30, sharing my experiences in between, especially with my exercise regimen and what I eat while I'm on the program. So I'm excited about that because I wanted to do that the first time I did it, but I didn't do it. So here I am. This is my new opportunity to give you guys a different type of uh, vlog where I'm sharing my experience um, every other day or every fifth day, something to that extent. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a part of family, join, and I will see you all in the next one. And until then, bye guys.